so uh, this is obviously a very, very small um, modular for my company. Um, it's only three modules. We make 12 modules at the moment. And uh, the one that, that I'm most interested in talking about today is the multi-delay, which I see some, some of you have already talked to about this today. But um, it's, <clears throat> it's the, the first module that we've designed and uh, started producing in Germany. So um, usually we like to release new products um, at the NAM show in California in January. So there might be something new coming soon, but um, we're not ready to announce just yet. So this is the newest thing we have. What, uh, what this module is, is a, an eight tap digital delay that is voltage control, that the time of the delays is voltage controlled. And all of those eight taps are the same, uh, the same length. So when you change the, the delay time, it's universal across all of them. All of those delays have dedicated outputs across the top. They all have envelope followers with uh, at dedicated outputs. There's a, a mixer on the front panel of, uh, of all of those delays and the dry signal out of one output and four preset mixes, which are all of the even tap delays at full volume, all of the, the odd taps of delays at full volume, all of the taps starting quiet and getting louder as you're getting to the longer ones, and all of the taps lo starting loud and getting quieter as going to the longer ones. And then finally, the, the last tap goes through a small DSP that creates an octave up pitch shifted version of the, the signal coming out of the last tap and a reverberated version of it. And those appear as normals in the input mixer. So they, the, the a feedback path with pitch shifting and reverb in it can be created that, um, that allows us to create pitch shifted uh, echoes, shimmer reverbs and um, reverb effects and even allows the, the module to self-oscillate. But it's a, a kind of interesting self-oscillation because each time that it cycles through, it's affected by those, by the pitch shift and the, the reverb. Um, I, I only have in this small system that I brought um, under my arm and carried with me in my backpack at the Vatican uh, tour this morning. Um, <laughs> I only have a, a harmonic oscillator as a, an audio source and I don't have any uh, means of, of creating a, a sequence, but I can just show some of the effects that are possible with this just by manipulating things manually. So what we're listening to is just this harmonic oscillator drone through the the mix the, the front panel mix output. That's the the sound of changing the delay time, and this. The CV input to the delay time can can be operated up into the audio range, which actually makes the individual outputs sound like the the, the pitch of the signal is being FM'd. If you do it at audio rate, there are two CV inputs that can operate at the same time, so you could be doing one FM and the other one sequencing or whatever. And when the, this is a little bit of the, the reverb effect. This is nice for 
slowly evolving pad sounds, atmospherics, like soundtrack type of things with droning. Harmonic oscillators that that have a lot of modulation happening to the harmonic mix sound really great through this effect. have multiple multiple preset mixes those can be brought up to create stereo output with this but uh, um, the the delays are actually going across the stereo field Oscillate. And take away the original signal and only have the feedback. The only thing that's in this, this set is a uh, harmonic oscillator, the multi-delay, which is the one that I'm primarily talking about, and this is an amplitude and tone controller. So um, the, the harmonic oscillator is, a, is our best-selling module. It's a, an, a simple additive oscillator that uses a, an analog triangle core and then folds that triangle wave up with various wave shapers to create the first eight harmonics as sine waves and then has a voltage controlled mixer to blend those sine waves together dynamically. Mm -hmm. So um, f from the sliders with my hands, I can only do so much, but this oscillator together with an envelope generator or LFO or whatever can uh, do a lot of a lot of what we might normally expect to get from an oscillator, oscillator followed by a filter, changing the harmonic blend from from a, some kind of controller, to do that without having a filter, just by changing the mix of the sine waves. How, how many in and out does it 
Um, well, it has an out for for all of the eight sine waves plus also a, a saw square and triangle. So it has 11 outputs and well, 12 if you're counting the mix of the sine waves. And, um, and it has CVNs to control all of those individual sine waves levels in addition to controls to, to for instance, control the, what are we hearing? We're not hearing it, oh. Changing the in this case, it's starting out with with um, the low harmonics and introducing more of them into the mix. So what might sound like a low pass filter sweep is actually just changing the volume of of the various harmonics. And that can be really effective with multiple unrelated CVs, random ones, LFOs, whatever, going into the individual harmonic controls to make a, a, a droning sound that continually is evolving its um, spectral content.
<laughs> Thank you.